The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is CheeseBoy628 here today giving you an OU tier Wi-Fi battle. And this is actually versus my buddy Hobo21. Met him a long time ago on Showdown. We've been friends since. Definitely check him out after the battle. So let's get right into the team preview. I'm using the same team as last week. Especially defensive of Iolite like Dusclops, Banded Talonflame, Scarf Garchomp, Mega Mawile, Physically Defensive Tentacruel, and of course, the threat, Dragon Dance Lapras. Let me tell you, it is going to get its vengeance one of these days. Now looking at my opponent's team, what I really like about his team building is he uses unconventional pokes. Like most of his pokes, you definitely wouldn't expect to find in an OU team. So he has his Dragonite, he has his Heracross, but as you can see in the team preview, he doesn't have a Mega, and therefore Heracross can be a variety of sets, but I'm expecting to be Mega during the battle. Now looking at the rest of his team, he's got that big threat done sparse, but really for the rest of his team, I'm really not too scared, or so I think. But let's see how this battle goes. Now as we enter the battle, one more person I have to really thank, and that's the actual creator of Lapras, and that's Gara OTD 23's friend Franchesi. I hope I pronounced your name right, man. Thank you so much. He is the reason I have a water absorbed 5 IV Lapras. Please check him out after the battle. Link in the description. Now, getting into this battle here, I go for the Brave Bird right away. I'm thinking maybe I can take out this Dunsparce. No, it's too strong and just takes me out the rock slide easy. So, I'm just going to go into my Garchomp right away. You're going to see Garchomp does a ton of work this game. And I'm going to go for the Dragon Claw, take it out easy. Now, he brings in a Skun Tank. Not really sure what it's going to do, but I'd rather be locked in the EQ if I'm going to fight it one on one. And so, here he's going to go for the Crunch, and I'm fully physically defensive, and that does a ton of damage so right now I'm thinking this thing is probably banded and judging by how well he took it I know that it has nice special defense but it's probably max HP max attack probably adamant not entirely sure now I'm gonna go for another scald hoping I can get a burn here and I thankfully do although it kind of is the end of my tentacle here it's nice to have a burn banded Pokemon that is for sure so now I can easily revenge it with anything and I'm gonna go into my Lapras because I want Lapras to kill something but of course He's not gonna let me do that. He's gonna go into his hair cross and really I just wanted to take this time while he was burned That I could easily eat up a crunch and then go for a DD and then keep setting up until he dies and burn But no, he goes directly into his hair cross. I cannot mess with this thing I need to preserve my Lapras. My Lapras is a threat And he's gonna go for the CC right off the bat And it of course does not affect my Dusclops as I bring it in and judging by how he switched out Then again, I am a Dusclops. I'm thinking he's choiced probably choice scarf moxie but now he goes into his Pyroar and I'm going to have my Labras here hoping that I'm bulky enough to take a hit in the case that he stays in. But unless I'm just going to go for the Waterfall, I'm not going to set up this time because I know he has that Heracross. And I am going to get the crit which does matter because I'm able to kill him with the Ice Shard now. It's kind of funny that we did have a battle before this and an unexpected event kind of happened during the battle so I kind of left my DS unattended and then I realized halfway through the battle that I didn't choose half of my moves and it kind of got destroyed because I didn't make any good plays since I didn't make any moves so being the kind man that he is he did re-challenge me now here I'm not entirely sure what he's going to go into but I just went for the curse because I'm thinking I can eat up anything this pyro has to offer and then I can easily go for the pain split and now he actually goes into the scun tank as I go for the pain split but I have more HP than him so unfortunately this pain split was a failure and he actually gets a bit of health back of course it doesn't really matter at this range here I just go for the shadow sink to try to get a bit of damage Maybe in the case that he goes for Sucker Punch, I could hopefully outspeed. Just kidding, I'm a Dust Clops, of course, I'm not gonna outspeed. I just did it for damage because I was expecting to probably die from that banded super effective crunch. But I actually do live, and I can go for a Shadow Sneak on this Hitmonlee after I take out the Scun Tank. That goes with Blaze Kick, easily takes me out, of course. And when I battled Hobo21 on Showdown a while back, he told me how he likes to run a Sash Hitmonlee with Reversal, so I was kind of scared of that, which is why I went for the Shadow Sneak in order to break a potential sash and thankfully it didn't become a threat now here's where this gets really interesting I go for the outrage do a lot of damage but he has the weakness policy 
and so he goes for a dragon dance here. But what's interesting, since I'm scarfed and I don't get confused here, I can stay in. And I was obligated to go for the E speed because I still outspeed since I'm scarfed. And I'm kind of surprised that he even carries the E speed. I didn't know Dragonite could actually carry it yet. But nonetheless, because of rough skin and just me being able to kill him with the outrage, I'm able to take him out. Funny thing is, I was kind of not paying attention there. I didn't realize he was weakness policy, so that could have almost swept my entire team. Thankfully, Chomp pulled through though. I'm able to go for one more outrage. I don't care about switching out. Take out that Pyroar, and that's going to be the game. So that was a great game, Hobo21. It was so fun battling you. Let's definitely battle again sometime. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.